Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Plus, and in this episode of our season as Justin Allgaier and his number seven Brant Professional Agriculture Chevrolet, we're going to Bristol Motor Speedway for the Cheddar's Scratch Chicken 300, presented by Alsco. So Cheddar's is, is a kitchen. I just think of like cheese crackers or something. Or they just specialize in cheese. That would make sense. Uh, last episode, we raced at Texas, got our second win of the season. I can't say that it was easy. We had a lot of battles for the lead and some pit stop strategy with cautions and stuff. There was a ghost and the ghost died. Or maybe he died then became a ghost and I drove through the ghost because I have no respect for life. But we have a 13-point lead now over Austin Sindrick and a 19-point lead over Chase Briscoe. I'm trying to do the mental math, okay? I'm trying. Ugh. I had to get my great value purified drinking water. Ugh. It's a bright and beautiful sunny day. That looks nothing like just now, Guyer. You can't say that's modeled after my career mode driver because I know what that looks like, and that ain't it either. No, we don't do practice. Practice is canceled. Always canceled. Practice said some uh, homophobic things. Yeah, that's what it did. That's why it's canceled. So, I guess I want to loosen it up for qualifying. I could probably just keep it on a plus one loose for the whole weekend. We're aiming for a 15.87. Well, it was a bright and beautiful sunny day. Now it seems kind of overcast again. I, it's just kind of back and forth with this game. It's like, you go into the qualifying and it's sunset. Well, I, I swear, Xfinity Series does not qualify at sunset. In practice, it was a sunny day. 16.35. Well, it's a better starting spot than we got at Texas. That was 12th, but then we got moved up to 11th anyways. So I, I would hope that... If anyone's going to the back from in front of us, it's two drivers, not just one. Otherwise, I'd like to stay on the inside, especially at a short track. Michael Annette starting up front again. He was uh, dominant for a while at Texas. We got some vroomy vrooms outside while I'm recording this video. So I got a pretty big lead. I just need to run well, get points, and try to keep the points lead through this weekend. <laughs> That's exactly what I dreaded. One guy got sent to the back, and now we're starting on the outside. Well, who was it? They're going to tell us in the pre-race information. Frickin' Brandon Brown. I actually know it was Austin Sindrick. Though Brandon Brown always runs well, he got a good finish at Texas. That's interesting, is that because they both got sent to the back, they started next to each other. So I'm wondering if like they did some like camera just for both drivers or they had two different cameras for the drivers. 20 laps in the first stage. I just cut off Brandon Jones to get to the inside. But it's okay when we do that. He's Brandon Jones. No one likes Brandon Jones. I heard that Brandon Jones was running an ARCA race this weekend. Now that is great. Kamikaze might disagree because like he sucks. But... See, that's a good thing. He should be running that series full-time. <laughs> Gotta have Xfinity Series and, and more experience in that one because he's gotten too many damn chances driving for JGR. I think it's JGR 19. I thought I would honestly move a lot more forward than I am right now. We are catching Justin Haley, so I guess we'll pass him. Get back on the throttle a little sooner. Get back on the throttle a little sooner. That's a reference to NASCAR Thunder. Okay, up to seven. I don't know if this is going anywhere else than this, though. Well, with Austin Hill taking every corner from the top of the track, I guess we are going to get up to sixth. We might get up to fifth before the end of the stage. We can close into the Jeff Green. Look at this Jeff Green having a good run. Ugh. I'm not going to sit around and wait for him to move up top again. We're right there with him. Oh, the back of the field has approached the front of the field very quickly. 
and I was too busy paying attention to these two guys in front of me. I didn't notice that the leaders were getting caught up in lap traffic. So yeah, we could win this race because of this. I think this is my fault though. Like with my settings, I have it set so that it's it's expanded. It's a very wide skill range, so the, the back of the field is way slower than the front of the field. And that usually works out at other tracks. It might not be the case that much for this one. I mean, you could see just how slower the back of the field is right now. I mean, look at the guy in last place. He's, he's just dragging. Oh, and there's so much stack up going on right now. And we might get to fourth. I'm trying not to bash up my car and wreck people to get through lap traffic, though. There's that 99 car. He died last race, I swear, because I passed him and he was a ghost. Y'all saw from the thumbnail, though. Okay, yeah, Harrison Burton checks up. Bottom line is open. And there's Alex Robay. He's had so many great runs. He's running 24th right now. Maybe it's just the paint scheme. Yeah, him and 36 cars. Usually white and blue. The LaRue car. And that is Chase Briscoe. Wait a second. Moving into second. I just passed a guy for, for fourth. I don't know when I passed the guy in third. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this is Mike Lynette. He found his way through the mess. Now I'm stuck on the outside. Could Colby Howard or whoever this is. Freaking pick him lane. What are you doing? Are you in the middle, the top, the bottom? Uh, something McLaughlin. Sarah McLaughlin. Scott McLaughlin. So many McLaughlins. Sean McLaughlin. Okay, white flag for the first stage. Daniel Hemrick is right in front of me, and I don't know why he's driving this slow. No one's in his way, and yet I've caught him. He's not driving away with it. He's also driving an alternate paint scheme. I am going to send it on in. Uh, barely making contact. We're catching Brandon Brown. Brandon Brown did have to start from the back of the field. So for him to climb up to 19th, I mean, that's a lot accomplished with all the traffic. Actually, no, it's not because it's just a 29 car field. <laughs> you won't forget, it's not 40 or anything. So, yeah, Brandon Brown only passed, like, 10 cars. Never mind. I thought it was, like, 20. Yeah, we're going to fix that one second of damage. I don't really need to, but I will. And I guess I'll just put in one can. I only lost three spots, so I guess it's all fine and dandy. It's just... I didn't need to get that much fuel to make it to the end of the, this second stage, but I might as well damn near fill it up so I don't have a really long hit stop after stage two. This time it's 18 laps, so it's a shorter second stage uh, from the outside, but we will clear the sky on the bottom. I need to get into this lead so I can try and protect, and well, and I, that was a mission failed. Harrison Burton just sent it right back on me. Okay, I was just chilling behind Harrison Burton. Gained some into the corner, lose some off the corner. Don't know what the caution was for. But yeah, we're 14 laps short on fuel to the end. We'll see how that looks after the stage. Yeah, all these guys are still lapped down. I have no idea who the caution was for. It's not telling us. Usually, if there's like some wreck and one guy's involved, they blow a tire. It says they're taking a pit stop so they can get a new tire or whatever, but you know, there's, there's nothing. I should take the lead at this restart and if I don't we should still win the stage because of how bad lap traffic is though I don't know if that's possible because with us having a caution it really cuts that out of the picture so yeah never mind I'm gonna have to protect the lead if I want to win the stage if that caution didn't happen it, it might have been nearly guaranteed yep and it's not so important that I drive it hard into the corner and make the fastest laps it really is all going down to not giving up the bottom. Ah, you, won't, you won't do it. And that's Chase Briscoe trying to gain points, but no, he just continues to lose points. So, he, yeah, he's falling out of the picture. Such a great run for Jeff Green. Third place in the second stage. Mm. I don't know why whenever I drink water, the bottle whistles. Okay, I, I don't know the science behind that one. The left sides took more wear overall, I think, than the right sides. Oh, obviously, the right front takes a lot, but that's interesting. I don't know if it did that last time. But we don't have any damage to repair this time. We'll get four tires. 
and we'll put one can in and that'll take us to the end of the race and if there's like a late race caution we have a green white checkered adding more laps we'll still have you know five more laps than necessary we should be perfectly fine i've just got to stay up front and eventually we'll start lapping cars we got 31 laps to go once we get to the lap traffic i should be able to file through it and lead to the end we could go back to back get our third one in the season well here we are lapping these guys a second time actually because they're already one lap down from earlier i'm trying to move up from the bottom after finishing the corner that's how you race the track but still chase briscoe is it i hate physics ow ow is that not a caution that's not a caution i just lost this race because they didn't throw a caution for that i'm trying to file through lap traffic and he's doing it just fine i was about to say that um i don't think i have that much damage though he just freaking knocked the shit out of me if he gets held up by lap traffic again in the next 15 laps and I can drive up to him, then maybe we could still win this, but God, that sucks. Caution. Well, and then they throw another caution. I don't know what that was for, but it wasn't for me. It should have been for me. I, I died. I guess it was for Austin Sindrick. No one actually has to pit. Some guy blew up a while ago, and... Yeah, that was Matt Mills. Didn't he blow up at Texas or something? Maybe it was a, a different driver. I don't, I don't know. But I saw someone head down pit road at the start of this final stage. We got 12 laps to go. Ugh. I cleared Chase Briscoe on the restart. Oh my god, this guy has problems every dang race. Anyways, yeah, we're coming up to the end. Chase Briscoe just did not get off on that restart properly because I just drove away from him. And uh, eventually, Harrison Burton got around him. And now, he can't catch me. I've caught the back of the field, so I have them for leverage. I just need to not wreck off of Mike Harmon. I think that's who I wrecked off of last time. I, I sent it on him, and then I just caught the apron. And, well, then physics. Stupid physics fucking me over. Oh, the tires are having problems. That's the wrong damn button. What? What? What button do I press? Okay, yeah, the, the B button. Gosh, the car's all bashed up every damn corner of it. Yeah, it's the white flag. Don't skid the apron again. Ah! The, the, them tires at right front, but... Mm, that light came on with only two laps to go. So, I'm trying to put the right information on. I, I, I can't drive and focus at the same time. But, yeah, we, we go back to back. And they didn't throw that caution for me whenever I spun. And then they threw the caution for Austin Sindrick or whatever. But then Chase Briscoe didn't take advantage of that and work his way back around. I could have done donuts, but they took it away. Yellow flag flies on lap 59. Yeah, except it didn't come until like two laps after that. What are you talking about? But yeah, we, we gained points on them again, for sure. Increase that points lead. And Harrison Burton gets around those guys. Do, do, do. Here's the rest of the results. Brandon Brown, I mean, he worked his way up to 19th in the first stage, but then he only finishes 18th. And yeah, all these guys finishing laps down, two down, three down, four down. Now, I saw Josh Blicky pull off the track. This is... Matt Mills finished 45 laps down. Because I remember some guy DNF'd way before that spin that I had, trying to get through the lap traffic. And I see now we got a 30 point lead. Oh, and here is Victory Lane, of course. For the second video in the row. I mean, for a Nintendo Switch, that's pretty good detail. You can see the pins holding the hood in. I think Texas was probably like the better video and in Bristol, I mean, maybe it was a better race. It was a little more challenging, but it's like once I caught the back of the field or whatever, I could file through lap traffic, but that last restart, I, for some reason, Jace Briscoe, he, he didn't even fire off. 
So I just drove away with it. I pulled away to like a three-second lead, just like that. But I'll see you guys next weekend whenever we go to Talladega for the Money Lion 300. I'll hop into this car because I guess it matches the colors of the race logo or something a little bit. That's actually Austin Cindric sponsored Money Lion. And then also that weekend, we've got the One Main Financial 200. Ah, man. Remember the days when there was a One Main Financial car driven by Elliot Sadler? I did a Let's Play with that car. But see you next time. That's that. And episode over.